Members of the PGA Tour have known for months that this possible rollback was coming to the sport, which gave them some time to do some testing to see what sort of effect this modified ball would have on their game ahead of this announcement uh, being made official here yesterday. Well, Keegan Bradley is one of those players that reportedly did some testing with a modified ball, and he said that he lost between 40 and 50 yards off the tee. Well, Bradley isn't the only one that has been doing some testing on the PGA Tour. Yesterday, I spoke with Lucas Glover, who's been doing some testing of his own, and I had a chance to ask him what sort of effects he's seen in working with this modified ball and get his reaction to yesterday's news. Seems reactive. Um, I think we could have fixed all this 15, 20 years ago with different things, but uh, it's not the way it happened. So, you know, we'll see. Have you done any testing with the modified golf ball and seen how it would potentially impact your game? Yeah, yeah, I did. A few weeks back, we were testing some new product um, for the next couple of years and then did some, um, did some that possibly Strixon Cleveland Golf may use. Um, yeah, it was significant, really significant. And it was a bit of a windy day uh, when we were doing it, so it was even more significant. Um, but yeah, it was uh, uh, it was eye-opening for sure. I think I hit a couple of really good drives that flew about 242. Um, I'm not the longest hitter, but uh, I hit it further than that. So um, yeah, pretty significant. What do you think about this decision to make the rollback universal rather than just having it target a particular section of the game? Uh, I think it stinks for the weekend warrior. You know, they they don't hit it far enough anyway. Um, all we've done is build longer and longer golf courses, and now we're going to have a shorter and shorter ball. So um, are we going to tear up a bunch of new tees that we've built over the last 20 years, or um, are we going to hit four irons into all the par fours? I don't know. Um, but for for the everyday player at home, I think it's I don't think it's a great idea. Um, but I don't count. I don't have a vote. And it doesn't matter. So. Well, the women on the LPGA Tour will just begin that testing process now as they only found out this week that this universal rollback will now be affecting them as well. I did speak with Brittany Lincecum, who was a three-time leader in driving distance on the LPGA Tour, and she told, she told me she was pretty shocked at the numbers that Bradley was reportedly losing and testing out that modified ball, and she expects to see a far greater reduction in distance when she begins testing as well than what the USGA is estimating, saying that they expect the women uh, at the Elite level of the game to only lose between five and seven yards under this new rule. Amy Rogers reacting from some of the players at the Grant Thornton down in Naples, Florida. Now, Akushnet, whose principal brands include Titleist and Footjoy, released this statement on Wednesday evening. We support the position of the PGA Tour and others that there are many areas of focus at the elite level, including initiatives related to golf course setup and conditioning and other competitive variables, which, if desired, can limit the effects of distance while also providing the opportunity for a diverse skill set to succeed at the highest level. Not all sports have endured from generation to generation the way golf has endured, and the governing bodies deserve credit for having effectively balanced the forces of tradition and technology. This has helped to preserve golf's unified appeal and values while encouraging innovation that has helped to make the sport more relevant and enjoyable. We believe that further collaboration and cooperation with the RNA, USGA, and other stakeholders is critical prior to moving forward with such a significant equipment regulation change. We continue to advocate for stakeholders to convene to have a meaningful examination of this decision and its consequences and to discuss alternatives as we look to protect golfers' enjoyment of the game and the health of golf courses around the world to ensure golf's promising future. Uh, Damon Akushnet, we all know, is a great company. Pure Golf, they have worked diligently and intelligently for 90 years to become mm. the dominant player in the golf ball market. I think it's understandable that they would push back on anything that might threaten that. Other companies might see an opportunity to reset the golf ball market so they might be more compliant uh, with the new new standards. I think we sort of sensed some of that in the statements we, we heard yesterday from some of the other companies. I expected a stronger pushback from some of the equipment manufacturers. I thought yesterday's tone was 
relatively measured, even if some of the companies were disappointed. The, the, the major theme was that they would comply, find a way to innovate, do things differently, continue to go back to work with their R&D departments and find a way to continue to make great products for the consumers out there. Uh, you spoke with some of your PGA professional pals who service the game that we all love, what'd you come away with? What'd they tell you? Yeah, these are the folks that are on the lesson tees mm -hmm. trying to, to spread the gospel of the game. And I spoke to a couple of them yesterday, one telling me that people don't want things taken away from them, even if it's only the appearance of taking things away from them. Another PGA professional telling me, do you know what everyone wants when they come to stand on my lesson tee? They want distance. They thought that the timing was bad considering where the game is a little bit fractious right now. People tired of the headlines. And, and the majority of PGA professionals I talked to yesterday were looking for a different path forward than addressing the golf At ball. At some point, I think the PGA professionals are going to have to snap out of that, push mm. a more positive message to their golfers, you know, hey, we'll put a good plan together for the offseason. We'll get you flushing your irons, rolling the rock, uh, distance, don't worry about it. We're going to add a little speed. And I, we, we all know that the best way to get better is with better technique matched with the great equipment that the, so many of these companies are Hard putting Hard to out. do. Over the last 20, 25 years, you turn on Golf Channel, you watch PGA Tour coverage. Distance has been the great panacea in this game, and that, that goes down to the 15 and 20 handicap. The PJ professionals I talked to, and I think you're right, you know, short game, make some putts, there's other ways to get great scores, but distance, distance, distance has been the mantra of this game over the last couple of decades. I would trade right now 10 yards, and I'm getting shorter and shorter, but I would trade 10 yards to be able to hit better iron shots. Crisp, solid, consistent iron shots, and be able to, to execute the short game. I'd give you 10 yards right now because that's the area of the game that cost, that personally, that cost me. I'll give you 15 if I can get out of a bunker <laughs> in one. <laughs> I'll tell you that, short okay. game, short game, short yeah, game. No question. Absolutely. Uh, in any event, uh, I, where the governing bodies are concerned, we have to point out that while Akushnet is, is hoping for more dialogue, this is final, correct? Yeah, this is final. The comment mm -hmm. period has ended.